Hello, this is Broy, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Civilization VI Gathering Storm, playing as the Kree Empire. We are on the June 2019 patch that just came out a couple days ago. And so, yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to hopefully have a lot of fun. I haven't played the Kree before. Again, I don't think I have. I keep... The Kree, it sounds familiar. Don't get me wrong. I'm sorry. It does sound very familiar. I don't think I have. I, I think what I did one time was... I think I might have played a game offline with them once because I vaguely remember being the Cree next to um, the Aztec and actually using my Kichitas to like destroy the Aztec Eagle Warriors. Like it was, it, don't, don't get me wrong. I like, I lost a lot of Kichita as well, but I was able to build them so quickly at the time because I think they actually were cheaper or something like that. I think this might've been before, uh, Gathering Storm, something like that. Or maybe they've always been the same price as Warriors. But either way, I vaguely remember playing them, like, in that context. But I don't think that game went very far. I, I, I don't remember. If I did play, let me know in the comments below that I'm crazy and I forgot about them. But either way, here we are. We are on a small continent's map. So lots of, you know, a few medium-sized land masses and then lots of little islands and stuff like that. Hopefully kind of mix things up. Maybe not the best map for the Cree. But hey, trade routes are trade routes. And they're really good with trade routes. And uh, coastal, you know, sea-based trade routes are actually usually pretty good. Really, obviously, better than land-based tra trade routes. So it's not necessarily going to be bad for the Cree, but it's just ne ne there's not necessarily anything major strength that the Cree has on a sea-based map uh, versus a land-based map necessarily. So we'll see what we can do. Like our Kichita, for example, are kind of stuck right now. Not really much we can do with them until we can uh, get them overseas. Uh, I think going for early empire right away will be very very useful really try to get to political philosophy as soon as possible trade routes i mean the food of production is always good yeah you know what early city i think the food of production is slightly better um i mean don't get me wrong the gold is great we definitely want the gold we want the gold to pay for this trade unit that we just bought but uh food of production will really help the city really get off to a good start. It's not a lot of food in production, but it's enough to really help the city a bit. Get its legs under it. Ancient Era ends in seven turns. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with being in a Dark Age. If we accidentally jump over to a Normal Age, slightly disappointing as I say that and forget that I just had a ship being built. Uh, yeah. Oh no, we're at 10. Okay. 10 is still safe. Um, six turns. Do I sit on my hands for six turns just to guarantee the Dark Age? And by that, I mean, like, don't do any exploration. Don't do anything crazy. Just sit on the Dark Age. That way, whatever points we would have gotten, we can get as soon as we get into the next stage. I kind of think that is a good idea. Oh, the Pantheon might put us over, and I don't really want to wait on the Pantheon. If the Pantheon puts us over then we will um we'll just accept it that's gonna be fine uh pantheon obviously you can see the pantheon choice here is nice and tucked in over here on the left hand side that was one of the changes in the patch so we can actually see the map and see which one of these things would be beneficial to us um the volcano thing would be kind of interesting i know that's one that they added uh if we had some um geothermal fissures uh i might take the volcano thing but sitting around waiting for this volcano to maybe erupt I don't know that we want to go that route, so... And that was the, uh, which one? So you don't see it. Somebody already take it? Oh, Fire Goddess down here. Uh, Holy Sites, Tundras, we're not going to have. Deserts, don't really have. There are a few down here, but not enough to say anything. Uh, Holy Sites get faith from adjacent rainforest tiles. Uh, there's a few. Not really enough to benefit from that one, I don't think. River Goddess... pretty good not enough rivers i mean there's a few there might be some ways to squeeze that one in not feeling that one though marsh oasis and desert floodplains i wish it was just floodplains in general get some extra production on these would be kind of cool production from fishing boats might might be something we're gonna have because we're gonna have a lot of you know fishing boats around the edges culture from pastures you know there's one there one there that's about it, so maybe not. Production from camps. Not really a lot of those. 
These are camps, right? Ivory? I think so, right? I can't remember. Either, either way, though, there's only a couple of those, so there's not a lot. Quarries. We're going to have some stone up there, but still not a lot. Mines over luxury and bonus resources will give us faith. We don't know what we have on some of those yet, so maybe not that one either. Goodness, we're still really not finding anything good yet. Culture from plantations. We do have at least one plantation. Um, then there's going to be... Um, to pack over here. Cotton... Or rice down here. Oh, that's rice, sorry. Cotton over here, that would be a plantation. Uh, tobacco up here should be a plantation. So, maybe... Oh, no. No, no, no. I, I kind of like the settler thing. Although the border growth, growth does not really help us as much. City patron goddess is pretty good. Getting a little extra production for the first district we put in a, special, in a city. Um, could be useful. I really like the extra settler, though. Yeah, why not? I, honestly, none of these other ones really jump out at me as like, oh my goodness, that's the most amazing thing in the world. Just flat out free settler, plus some border growth, which, don't get me wrong, we do have some free border growth as um, Cree, but it is limited to the directions that our trade routes can go. So, getting a little bit extra can't hurt. Um, but the free settler, I, I want to try this one out. I think it's going to be pretty useful. Uh, I I'm looking forward to having, just right away, another city. Um kind of feeling that place. This place is okay. The place is pretty good. It's actually more. I thought they only did four or so. There's actually five suggestions here. This one's obviously internal, but it's right on the river, which I really like a lot. If we bump out to the rice pretty quickly by you know, possibly getting a trade route or something like that, um, that could be useful to try and steal that rice from Lisbon before they do anything. I do want a city on this river, I think. I think more more river-based cities would be useful. No real new resources, though. So I guess that's the negative. Maybe over here is better. It's Plains Hills, so we'll get that early production. Plus, we get to work this four-yield uh, rice tile right away. Sheep nearby. Fish, crabs within range. Elephants technically within range, but uh, we probably put another city over there before we actually work that one. Now, this one actually might be okay, because then if we want to put another city over here somewhere, we still might have that potential. I like it. Let's put that there. Uh, you're actually going to move up to there. Hold that spot for us. And I think I'm okay with this. Maybe kind of a boring pantheon once we got the free settler. But, you know, we'll try it out. We'll see how it goes. Um, we got the galley. I would like to get another galley out pretty quickly here to get the boost to, um, shipbuilding. I'm going to go ahead and swap to mining just for the moment. There might be a chance that we can get the boost to, um, writing. Could pop out another builder. Housing will be an issue in nine turns. Amenities are an issue right now. Because we actually have not picked up a new luxury resource yet. We still need to get out to this tobacco here soon. Let's grab... Let's grab the granary. Again, housing will be an issue here soon-ish. I, I, I think I'm going to sit on this thing. Oh, no, we did tip over, didn't we? No, oh, we're tipped over. Never mind. Which is fine. That That's okay. I'll just go ahead and wake you up and just put you on auto-explore right away. Just go, go find us some stuff. I probably could have played it a little bit more careful to not get the um, the normal age, but it's not that big of a deal. No, oh, really? Uh, we'll then go there. I'm sure he'll move here in a moment. Still no barbarians, which I'm okay with. Another small island over here it does have some chocolate on it. Cocoa. Uh, there's hanging gardens right there. I mean, I momentarily thought about building it, but I'm glad I did not go through with it. 
Usually on Deity, it's easier for the uh, AI to build this, the wonders that you want for you. Oh, hello there. Goody hut. That's a really tiny island here. Might be enough room for a city. I don't know if it's worth it or not. I mean, there is some, some good fish and turtles and stuff like that nearby, as well as the cocoa. Hello, barbarians. Hello, when death to my ship. In a hole, quit digging. Uh, okay, so you need to run away, because I really don't want to lose you this early in the game. I really want to, I know it's crazy, but I want to allow my, my scouts to go across the seas. So I really want to unlock shipbuilding early, early here. Uh, which does mean we will get us another galley here in a moment. Yeah, I think the city's going to be good. Again, we'll be able to work the uh, food right away. Uh, it will need to get a granary pretty quickly. Might be better to buy the granary. Since the production's going to be a little weak here, but it's uh, it'll be okay. We'll go with that. We'll just have to get another trade route here. Um, let's make sure you are working the food so that we can um, grow, and then we can start working some of these production tiles after that. Got us our first trading post. Good stuff. Early dedication. It's going to be kind of boring, but that's okay. Uh, specialty districts, yeah. There's going to be a few of those, but I still think for inquiry is usually a bit easier to pick up. Alright, trade routes. Uh, I'm tempted to ship, shift you over to here to get this guy a little bit of food and production right away. It does hurt our gold a little bit. We're actually doing pretty good on gold. I think that's actually going to be okay. Again, I'd still like to try and get to five cities by turn 100. A um, couple more over here. Could probably put at least three more cities over here. Maybe another one over here. So we still got a decent amount of space for some more cities on this landmass. All right, so let's go food and production. Um, does not really matter at all which of these we go with. So we'll just go towards our capital. Let's allow us to grab this tile here, which is good. It's tempted to go towards Lisbon so we can... Uh, Pick up a couple of these tiles here, but it actually is more gold. But let's go this route. I mean, as long as we don't contribute or do anything, you know, to help Lisbon out, like giving them any uh, envoys, I don't think their borders will grow, right? I think it only grows when envoys are sent, and if we're the only one that knows anything about them, we might be safe still. Well, hello there, Sweden. I kind of happen to know a little bit about you due to uh, recent play. Where are you? You've got to be really close. Means sharing. There's our boost to writing right away. That's perfect. Oh, wow. She's already at 230 military strength. This, this right here. I, I guess what this will tell us is how terribly bad we're doing <laughs> right away. Immediately tells us how bad things are. But no, it's, it's going to be fine. It's DAD difficulty. We expect things like that. Not a big deal. Need some more housing, which we're about to get here in a turn. So that is going to be actually fairly fairly well timed out. Still no barbarians. So our slinger doesn't really have an opportunity to get any any kills what a yet. What grand sight this must present in the wet season. Waterfalls All right. in every direction. Could be an interesting wonder to try and settle near. Wait, didn't I tell you to come home? Oh, you're still trying to find a way home. Oh my goodness. That's actually kind of funny. All right. Well, more power to you, buddy. Make your way home when you can. So we are getting some boosts for the natural wonders and stuff. So I think we're going to be better set up for... Again, would have been great to have the Dark Age early, so we can go right into the uh, Heroic Age now. But I think we might be able to get us a Golden Age here if, if, we, if we work out right. Which will kind of make that Dark Age miss by one point. Even more painful. All right. Um, I do want to go ahead and go ahead and knock out the other galley right away. I think that's going to be fine. Get the boost to our shipbuilding, which we really need. You, however, do need a builder soon. Your border growth isn't happening yet.
could get another a Kichita just to be ready for shipbuilding, but uh, that's still, what, 13 turns away? Actually, a little bit more than that, probably about 15, 16 turns away. Um, decent campus place there. I should probably just buy the build. Well, again, it's not really anything of work right now. Let's get the monument. Let's go ahead and get the monument. I want the borders to grow here because we want the uh, luxuries and stuff like that. And obviously, we're not going to be sending a trade route that direction. That so we got to do it the uh, quote unquote hard way. You can foresee the future too. All right, early empire. Uh, we are still building the naval units, so I guess we'll leave that one locked in for the moment. I don't think anything else will help that much right the second anyway. I think we can go ahead and drop off the faith in gold in our capital though, and probably pick up. We get four gold from that. We get three production from this. Let's go with the production. Really help out these early cities. Um, we do want to go ahead and start working on state workforce. We really want to get uh, political philosophy as soon as possible, which probably means we may try and knock out a campus here. I mean... Reyna um, would be useful at some point because, you know, obviously we're very trade oriented. I do tend to like Liang early on um, for that extra builder charge. So, yeah, I think I'll go ahead and take Liang. I think Liang's going to be good. Uh, I may stick her down here and just do the builder out of here because we'll probably buy the builder, honestly. In fact, we may just wait until Liang gets situated. And then buy the builder at that point. I think I'll like that. Still trying to make your way back, huh? Oh, there's Preslav. Hello there. You want a trade route. You want an archer still? Well, we'll try to get us an archer here soon. Again, I don't want to get any more envoys towards Lisbon until we get our city down here. Which may be the next city we try and settle. Just to lock that in. Uh, although, a city over here to make sure we lock in the tobacco. Lots of choices here. We'll have to think about that, what we want to do here. Any barbarians yet? And I was going to say, I'm trying to think if there's anything I need to do right this second, but I guess we're still just chilling, waiting for things to happen. There's our extra galley. I'm very happy with that. Does get us another dedication of boost. Tempted to go straight into the settler, although I do think a campus would be a really good idea at this point. And this loses us the uh, woods. Could get burnt up by the uh, volcano, which would be kind of annoying. This one is a bit safer. Also loses the woods. Maybe not as big of a deal. Actually, what maybe what we do then is just excuse me, sorry, adjust my chair. Apologies. Uh, we may chop the. We may wait till Liang get the builder, move it over here, chop that, and then go for the the campus from that. So in the meantime, excuse me, um, we may. We can go to another Kichita, Be ready for when this locks in here in nine turns. Also, just lock out, knock out the uh, monument. Although in two turns, we're going to want to swap. Well, two, three, three to buy the build. Or two, we'll establish. We'll buy the builder that turn. Three, four, five. So, no, five turns is actually going to time out perfectly. So, in that case, the other Okichita actually times out better. Uh, I guess you can go ahead and go explore automatically as well for the moment. Right, there's a governor. Um, should be able to go ahead and buy the builder, get the extra charge. Move over there, chop that, etc., etc. And then once she chops this, she'll move up here, and uh, we may have to buy the tobacco or something. Um, but we'll, we're definitely going to get us some uh, some amenities here soon.
Oh, mega colossal eruption. Ouch. Lost the population. Oh, I did lose my unit. Uh, of course, of all the eruptions that we could have, of course it had to be mega colossal. So, oh, I lost the builder. Oh, man. I was thinking I lost the slinger here. It's sitting like two tiles away. I didn't even get dinged. I lost the builder. That hurts a lot. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Well, fair enough. We put it on max disasters for, you know, on purpose. Ouch. But we are finally getting some volcanic stuff here. You know, we'll get to play around with that a little bit. Uh, a little bit of science here, actually. That's going to be kind of cool. Did lose some population, though, to pay for that science. But, nah, well, it's going to be interesting. Dealing with this volcano going around all the time. Uh, go ahead and heal up, please. Uh, I can't believe we lost the builder. That is highly unfortunate. We may have to build a builder at this point. It's going to take us too long to get enough to buy another one. All right. Uh, we can get a builder in six turns. How much would it cost us? 230, which we'll get there in about nine turns. So, no. Building the builder. Chop the forest. Pop the uh, campus. Bada boom. Um, I may have you do a... Well, I don't really want you to do a builder. I'd rather get the builders out of here. Just to get that extra charge if I do anything. Let's go ahead and do the monument then. Go to the campus. Not any amazing places. So honestly, this would be fine. Yeah, sure, why not? Go ahead and get us a campus down. It's going to be okay. Catch it all. Uh, let's say faster movement... Probably on woods or something like that's fine. I'm just gonna leave you. Um, oh, it's funny that it does you take the promotion even though the you know, I guess we have to move you out now. But here in three turns, we'll be able to let our Okichitals move around a bit more. Uh, and on that note, we may move the slinger around somewhere. We'll figure it out. I'd like to see if you can get up there. I'm assuming it's safe now that this thing's already kind of done. Vol Done erupting. It's cool. I love the eruptions here. It's really cool to see. Even though it's going to cost us a lot over the course of the game, <laughs> it is going to be painful. Um, I mean, now this tile is already worth science by itself, so without even putting the campus there, so a little bit less inclined to put the campus down, actually. What do we need for the harbor? Oh, it's down here, Celestial Navigation. That's right. So we need Astrology into that. Improve two sea resources. Definitely want to hook up the harbor soon-ish. You know what? Let's just uh, have you start working on the settler. I do want to get some more settlers out. I think that's going to be fine. All right, you guys are just going to chill until shipbuilding gets done here soon. And I think on that note, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in there. Uh, obviously, we can see Sweden getting pretty strong militarily. Uh, they're getting 12 science per turn. We're up to 9. Feels pretty good. Our culture is obviously more than double ours at the moment, though. Uh, but yeah, overall, you know, it's the only people we know about. So the only person we have to compare against. So usually, rule of thumb is if you've got at least half the military power of a deity AI, you are doing fine. Uh, deity AI is like to build a lot of military stuff. As, we, as we've, you know, discussed in previous episodes, previous, uh, you know, Let's plays of this game before, you know, that's that's the equalizer is is military stuff. That's that's where the deity um, AI, even though we get a small bonus, they still are just not as good as a player. And so about 50 percent of their combat strength is usually the sweet spot to be honestly perfectly fine and safe because you're just players are just typically better than the, the AI uh, as far as military is concerned. So we're not too far off of that mark. Anyway, put a cut in here. I do appreciate you watching and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.